Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And in this Malaysia food vlog, we're going to try Texas chicken for the first time. We're at Cyber Jaya and we found a Texas chicken and we're going to try it out. Let's go. So there's a kid's playground there. That looks pretty cool. And Texas chicken was started in Texas in 1952. And in the US, it's called Church's Chicken after the founder, George W. Church. So what do you feel like getting? Everything. <laughs> so there's a lot of cool burgers. There's a plant-based food. So we're going to try the plant-based burger as well. So yeah, lots of good options. So we can see they've got their normal pieces of chicken, which are either plain or hot and spicy. They've got burgers, they've got wraps. They've got plant-based as well. And they've got a number of sides as well. And the chicken seems to be cooked pretty fresh. One really cool thing about Texas chicken is that you get unlimited refills for your drinks. So that's a pretty cool perk. Yeah, we don't get that in Australia. So, what should we have? Well, should we try the Southern Sweet Tea? Oh yeah. That seems to be Texas brandy. So have one of those. And great Santa, we don't have this in Australia. Yeah, so this looks a bit fancy. Yeah, this looks amazing. So we've got four different types of burgers and wraps, and then we've got some of them with combos so that we've got the drinks, the unlimited drinks, and we've got the sides as well. And we chose some extra sides. The honey biscuits seem to be quite popular here, so we tried them, and the jalapeno poppers as well. So what do you want to start with? Oh, um, well, I've got, I've got that burger in front of me, so I think this is the Mexicana burger. Okay. So let's try that one first. Uh, so yeah, it's a really big burger. I think it's got a spicy, what, what do you call this? Patty or chicken. Yeah, yeah. spicy chicken piece there. And it's got some tacos in there as well. Yeah, it looks really yummy. Nice slice of cheese, lettuce and is there tomato as well? Yep, lettuce and tomato. It's a good looking burger. Good looking burger, a little bit, a little bit rustic. <laughs> but I'm sure it's going to be very tasty. Oh, that's a mm. nice crunch. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, there's certainly spice to it. You can feel it as soon as you bite into it. Mmm. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. So, and yeah, I like the crunch of the tacos as well. That gives it a, quite a nice texture. Mmm. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, it's definitely got a bit of heat in it. Oh boy, that certainly does have heat. I'm wondering how spicy the dragon is after that. <laughs> oh, that's oh going to be interesting. So for the drinks, they've got a whole lot of different fizzy drinks or soft drinks or pop or whatever you call it. And they've also got a sweet tea. So I've got the sweet tea here. I've got great Fanta. Now we don't have great Fanta in Australia, so this is quite the novelty for us. We don't really do sweet teas that much either. No. Mm. How's that? Yeah. Definitely taste the tea flavour and it is quite sweet. And I think that sweetness is good for like cutting down the spicy the level spice. of like, yeah. yeah, easing it off a bit. Yeah, this grape's really interesting. It's sort of like a bubblegum flavour. Mm. Yeah, I like it. It's stopping, okay. Mm. Yeah, definitely like a bubblegum, hollow bubble kind of mm. flavour. So yeah, this is definitely a strong tea taste, but I also get a, a hint of honey. It is very sweet. A sweet honey tea, I would describe it. I don't know whether there's any honey in there, but that, that's what it tastes like. Okay, shall we tr try one of the sides next? Yep, yep. I think my, my taste buds cleared enough to go for the jalapeno poppers. Okay, let's go on each. Mm -hmm. Okay, cheers. 
and nice and cheesy on the inside. Yeah, mm, that's nice. And I like how they've battered it. So it's kind of nice and crunchy. And I love the golden color as well. Yeah, I describe it more as a cheesy ball. So it's fried on the outside, a lot of cheesy goodness on the inside. And there are little jalapeno bits. Mm. So I was, I was half expecting a whole jalapeno fry, but it's not that. So no. maybe that, that's probably a good thing. So yeah, if you look on the inside, there's a little bit of jalapeno in there. So, mm. so yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I think it's a good balance actually. It doesn't go too hard on the jalapenos. And I can start feeling the heat of the jalapenos come through as well. So yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Okay. Do we want to go one of the chicken pieces? Yep, okay. What have we got here? Let's go the original. Okay. Okay, shall we Lady in the Trampet? Uh, okay, sure. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so this is nicely cooked. It's yeah, so I really like um, the juiciness of the chicken. It's not overly juicy, it's not like it's watery or anything like that, um, but it's quite nice and tender and you can tell it's quite fresh. And the batter itself, it's quite... Mild? Plain, plain. Yeah. There's not too many herbs and spices or anything like that, but it's got a nice crunch to it. And visually, I really like the look of the original. So we've also got the spicy here. Now this one, it's interesting, like the look of it is quite different to the, the original. original. Okay. A bit darker, I'd say. Um, and the texture's a little bit different. It doesn't have as much of a crinkle to it. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Yeah. One at a time. Okay. Not as spicy as I was expecting. No, it hasn't hit me yet, but if it is spicy. But again, really nice piece of chicken. Really nice and tender. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not, not dry. It's mm. got the right amount of juiciness, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm starting to feel a bit of heat now. So it's a bit of a delayed reaction there. Yeah, I think I'm still feeling the first burger. Yeah. So there's so much more heat in the Mexicana burger than there is in the mm. spicy chicken. Yeah. Yeah. So that's interesting. Interesting. Mm. Okay. All right. Let's try some chips just to yeah, just to balance it out. Yeah. So I like that they're the shoestring fries. Nice bit of crunch to them. Yeah. There's still like you can still feel the softness of the potato on the inside, so it hasn't been like cooked to. Within an inch of yeah, within an inch of his life. So that's, yeah, quite nice balance. I do like the crispiness of it though. This mm. has been sitting here for like 10 minutes now. Yeah, so. while we've been filming all of this. Mm. So yeah, but it's still really crispy. It holds its structural integrity well. Mm. It's not too salty. No. Um, I, I do like my chips quite salty. If you don't like too much salt, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Yeah, I like those fries. Okay. Now, now, what's this burger? So this is the ranch burger. Now it's a plant-based burger. Oh, so, yeah. so it's a chicken replacement. So this would be really interesting to eat. Yeah, so the veggie patty looks interesting. It's got little, like, is it chili flakes or something like that? Or like, it's got little dark flakes on it. Yeah. And I like that it's got a couple of tortilla chips and then it's got the cheese melted. Nice pieces of lettuce as well, so you can you can hear that crunch. Ooh. Okay, you think about that, and I'll take a bite. What is that sauce? Is it like honey mustard? Mm. I like the sauce. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Maybe it's like a honey chipotle or something. It's mm. really good. Yeah, that, that sauce is really, really good. Now I'm gonna try a bit of the patty on its own. The meat patty is pretty good. Oh, okay. Veggie patty. The veggie patty, well, it's supposed to be like a chicken patty. It, it does look like chicken. It looks like chicken. Mm. And it tastes generally like chicken. I, I, I would say if someone just gave it to me and I just ate it. Yeah, it wouldn't. 
wouldn't know that it was veggie burger. Yeah, exactly. It tastes just like a chicken nugget. And I think, like, I haven't had too many veggie things in fast food restaurants before, but I'd be very happy with that if I was a vegetarian. Or mm. even if I just felt like a vegetarian option. Like, I think that stands alone as a good burger. That's a really, yeah, really good burger. That, yeah, that's... like even if you're not vegetarian, I think that's still a good option. Yeah, and that yeah. sauce definitely, definitely makes the burger brings it to the next level. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, how about trying this biscuit? <laughs> So biscuits are, they seem like a pretty American food to me. And yeah, because we don't have them in Australia. I guess we call something like this a scone and we wouldn't have it as like part of a fast food thing. So I've never seen it outside of the US before. Yeah, when we were traveling in the US, we came across these in the Southern states of the US. So they're, yeah, they're really nice. I, they are a little bit like a scone, but I believe they're prepared differently. So there's butter milk in there, and I forget the other <laughs> the other ingredients. But it... mm -hmm. Quite light and fluffy. Yeah, light and fluffy is how I describe it as well. And I think like buttery. Yeah. And you can just taste the honey as well, can't you? Yeah, it's just drizzled with honey, so it's just it's a really nice, pleasant little snack. Mm. Yeah, and you could upgrade your meal but one of these for an extra 170 ringgit, which is, yeah, pretty good value. Yeah, it's quite addictive, actually. It's really yum. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, think, I think it's pretty good. Another burger. Now, this is one of their special menus, and this is, what's it called? The, the Dragon Burger. Dragon Burger. Now, there was also a Monster Dragon Burger, which had another chicken patty and chicken tenders on top, so that was a yeah, real monster. Yeah, huge. It's just oozing with sauce, and then it's got the chicken patty. It's got, it looks more like coleslaw on top. Sauce on you. Everyone. Okay, so what do you think? Mm. It's okay. Flavor-wise, I'm not as big a fan of that sauce as I am of the other ones. I think I've, my favorite's been the veggie burger so far. Mm. How would you describe the sauce? Give me another go. Is it like a barbecue sauce? Yeah. So, yeah, that's a good way to describe it. It's like a hot barbecue sauce. There's a bit of sweetness to it yeah. as well. And there's a little bit of extra sauce, that, that honey chipotle sauce that we liked as well. Mm. From the other one. So, yeah, so it's not bad. I did like the ranch burger better, I'd say. But not too bad. bad. So our last item is the wrap. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So I just had some chicken. I didn't, I didn't get much sauce, if there was any sauce in there. How about you? So it's got a lot of mayo in it. This one was the Texas wrap. So you can get a Mexican or you can get the Texas one. Oh, it's really stuck to the roof of the mouth. Yeah, yeah, the wrap is quite sticky. Mm. So this one isn't spicy at all. So if you want something quite mild, again, I think you can choose the chicken, whether it's hot, hot and spicy or whether it's original. I think if you're wanting to avoid the spice, getting that as original is a really good option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say it's pleasant. It's mm. not my favorite. The flavors are a little bit more plain. Yeah, as you say, the mayo's there. And the, the yeah, chicken. so it's mainly chicken, mayo and lettuce in the wrap. So if you're after something pretty basic and just nice, nice little flavors, not, not but gonna nothing, you. nothing too surprising, then yeah, I mean, it's a solid option. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So overall, I've, I've really enjoyed these burgers and these food items. What was the standout for you? I really like the Mexicana burger, so that packed a lot of punch to it. Mm. It was really yummy, and I really like the ranch burger as well. Yeah, yeah, I'd say my favourites were the ranch burger. This biscuit was a pleasant surprise. 
and I liked the jalapeno pops as well, they were my top three. That's our first time trying Texas chicken in Malaysia. So what do you think? Would you eat this for yourself? Let us know in the comments. So if you like the video, please hit that like button as well. And we've got plenty more Malaysia food vlogs and Malaysia vlogs in general. So if you want to follow us on our adventures, then make sure you subscribe. We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time. Thank you.